one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Here is Irun Inugami Korone, which is part of Hollow Gamers, which was a scouted uh, generation early on in Hollow Lives. Uh, how life productions life it was back when they weren't a huge one when Nidhi Sanji was way bigger than them and they couldn't even compete they scouted a lot of people like they scouted Sora they scouted Fubuki and then Fubuki scouted Mio Mio scouted o Okayu and scouted uh, Korone at, at as long as the what the rumors go they scouted them at an arcade they made hollow gamers which is supposed to be just gaming but as you know they all have idle parts of them they all sing really well there's going to be a hollow gamers concert really at the end of this month that uh i'm going to talk about with mio in in an, another part of this video but right now i'm talking about korone she put out something recently that said that i'm going to read the actual uh translation is to ensure peak performance for the event this month i'll be taking time off streaming until my nasal throat heals sorry about this despite saying i'll stream today I'm sure it's lonely, but I'll come back with the voice of an angel, as Corona always does. Uh, so wait for me, okay? I think I'll be back in two or three days. So she's going to be able to do those crazy flips that she does. She's going to be able to do those crazy cartwheels that she does. She's going to be do everything. She's going to be doing her acrobatics. She's going to be in tip-top shape. And what she mentions about the Mio fans, says Mio-chan, everyone in mio Fi, it's going to be a blast, so watch watch us. Uh, mio Shai, it's okay, so have good rest and be back healthy. Telling Mio, which I'm going to get into the next part of this video, uh, to, of course, be safe. And, of course, that they're going to take care of their side of things. This one is in regards to Hollow Live uh, JP. Uh, Okami Mio of Hollow Live is currently staying in the hospital for long-term treatment. They were going on hiatus, as we all know, because there was a, um, a serious situation that was going on. She needed to take a hiatus. It's the translation from the image. In times like these, there's nothing we could do except for wishing the talent good health. I sincerely wish Mio would make a full recovery in the future. I hope she's receiving the best treatment possible. Translation of the picture regarding the condition and future appearances of Okami Mio was affiliated with our company, Hollow Life Productions. We'd like to report that it has been determined that she is in a condition that requires long-term treatment, kind of like what happened to Hachama. She was urgently hospitalized on April 28th, so that's when she, you know, mentioned that she wasn't going to be there, due to poor health. We apologize for withholding the name of the disease for privacy protection, which is something that even Nidhi Sanji didn't do, but they're going to do it here, which is good. And for the delay in reporting. Although her symptoms are improving, we have decided as a company to cancel her scheduled appearances in Hollow Life Gamers Fest, Super Super Sa Super Gamers, and Music Verse Fest. Hollow Life Gamers Fest appearance de de declined. Music Verse Fest. Please check the official event announcement for details. We sincerely apologize to all the fans uh, causing concern. We appreciate your continued support and patronage. May 13th, Monday, Cover Corporation. Mio herself posted a tweet, translation by the same person. I am filled. With this is the tweet here, uh, the, the full picture, and it has been translated. I am filled with regret for having to deliver such a disappointing news at a large event, and I apologize to everyone who was looking forward to the event. I had said I would be well by the festival, but I'm truly sorry. I myself was determined to recover by the event, however my condition was more serious than I thought, and I waited until the last minute to make a decision about my appearance. But there was no change in the situation where I didn't know uh, if I could stand on the stage that day, so I decided not to participate at that time. I am truly frustrated. I feel sorry for everyone who was looking forward to it and bought tickets, and I wanted everyone to see what I have built up so far, but that might not have been possible without healthy and functioning body. I am reflecting on whether I may not have been taking good care of my health. I want to watch and support Hollow Life Gamers Fest, Super Super Gamers, and Music Verse Fest with the streaming ticket. To everyone who always supports me, I'm sorry for making you feel sad. Even though I received so much support, it really hurts my heart to have to deliver disappointing news. But I want to get well and come back to have fun with everyone again. I'm being selfish, but I'd be happy if you could keep Miofa's forest warm and wait for me. It's been so long, but that's all. In response to this situation, thank you very much for Ratame for adjusting the schedule. And to everyone who's appearing in Gemazu Fest, I'm sorry for the trouble. I sincerely pray for the great success of the gamers uh, in Music First Fest, Okami Mio. I hope she gets better soon. Same here. Wish her a speedy recovery. Hope Mio gets the rest and best medical care she needs. Sending all my energy to Miosha. Please be all right. Says I will sit with you for a while. Um, you know, just be be well. I hope something simple like an appendectomy. Sag, I hope she gets better soon. Oh God, I hope she gets better soon. Everyone just wishing her a fast and speedy recovery, because as we know, Hachama I think spent like eight months or so away from Hollow Life because of her illness, 
and hopefully it doesn't happen with Mio. But of course, wishing her the best. She is on a hiatus. She is on a indefinite hiatus for now because of long-term treatment in the hospital. It is for health reasons. Uh, Hololive is not sharing much more than that. Mio has made their own announcement and we'll just leave it at that for now, hoping the best for them. So as a bit of an addendum to what is happening with Mio, we know right now, thanks to things that are being said here, that it is an internal organ disease, as she says right here. Thank you everyone for the kind words. I'll do my best to get out of hospital soon. I'll tell you why I was hospitalized when I return. I'm sure everyone is curious. I don't have anything to hide, but I have an internal organ disease and I'm out. I'm on a lot of medication through IV drips. It's my first time being hospitalized, so I want to tell everyone a lot of things. So what's going to happen there is she's going to be on an IV drip. She's going to be on a drip of somebody. Uh, some, you know, like the medical professionals are going to be giving her any kind of IV meds that she has. Going to be giving her any IV issues that she has. You know, it's best that she's in good treatment. She's in a hospital and she gets managed properly. A little bit of positive news in today's uh, situation. I'll, I'll, you know, taken away from the Mio thing, not taken away from the Mio thing, not taken away from anything else that I mentioned. A little bit of positivity here where notice of advertisement supporting the first generation of Hololive members. To celebrate the sixth anniversary of a first generation Hololive members, overseas fans posted a supportive advertisement. Please check the image for details inside the South Ticket Gate of JR Yamanote 9 and be sure to stop by if you're in the area. The wonderful thing about this is look who's there. It's our lovely vampire. It is Yozora Mel, along with uh, Fubuki, with, um, you have over there at the very, very, very far left, it's Aki, you have Hachama there, and you, of course, have Matsuri. So they're all there. You have Hato, Akai Hato. This is Hato instead of Hachama. But lovely that a fan would do this, that fans would do this, and, of course, Hololive announced it on their, on their Twitter to make sure that that goes out and is a positive influence on everybody. Hololive is allowing Yozora Mel, who was terminated, to still appear in the promotional material for a fan event in the 6th of anniversary of Hololive's first gen. Yet Nidhi Sandy nuked everything related to Selene. Hololive allowed Mel's mama, Ayumi, to be the illustrator for this. Hololive didn't have to do this, and they went above and beyond to make it happen. However, Hololive proves again why they're becoming the gold standard for VTuber talents, at least when it comes to huge corporations. They really are. Edited. Added the words fan event to clarify it's an event from fans rather than an official one from Hololive. I still think that Hololive allowing this to happen again. They didn't have to, but they let it happen. Just to clarify, it's a fan project. As we said before, it is a fan project. The source tweet is this one here. From the user's bio, it says, it's an account for advertising projects supporting the first generation of Hololive members. Thank you all for the, co the, the Kapomin who cooperated. This project organized by volunteer fans. Please refrain from contacting a person in question or cover corporation. Representative, talk to Moon12 for inquiries and comments. Go to that one, Yozora, Yozora Notonari. Yozora Notonari. And this is their, their project that they're having. And this is the one that they're having inside of the station. It is very beautiful. And of course, Hololive isn't restricting it because Hololive could restrict it if they wanted to. They could be like, that is using our IP. We do not want you to use our IP. That's using a graduated liver. We don't want you to use the graduated liver. They could be like, because Niji Sanji would do that. Niji Sanji absolutely would do that. Once again, it case to Hololive understanding the value of fan content and allowing its IP to be used for fun projects. Um, meanwhile, Niji Sanji sent Selene's mama AR live merch of Selene's you know, wave mates. OP, this is a fan thing, of course, but they allowed it. That's the thing. They allowed their use of their IP. They could have actually put a cease and desist if they really wanted to. They could have done something to prevent it if they really wanted to, but they didn't. They wanted to keep things positive. The, I'd still give this as a win to Hololive. Maybe a bit of copium, whatever you want to decide, but I still give this as a win to Hololive because they have the rights to stop things, and I'm pretty sure Nidhi Sanji would have tried to stop it. Nidhi Sanji is supposedly working with YouTube to fight against slander and harassment. I think they want to go after false ID, Kyo, etc. in more official capacity. Here's what they're saying here. Nidhi Sandy's working together with YouTube and Japan's Ministry of Internal Affairs and communications with others to spread awareness on slander and harassment on the internet. Uh, stop and think before you post comments online or offline as you might be held legally responsible for them. This works more in Japan than it does in the US. So uh, they can do what they want, I guess. Ah, yes, the good old rules for me, not for thee. Uh, I'm glad their BS defamation law means Jack S outside of JP. Otherwise, everyone that go against them would be silenced, even if they're saying the truth. 
Uh, Nidhi Sanji, already, I'm already on the uh, radar of Nidhi Sanji, personally myself. I have had uh, people tell me I'm being reported, and I've even had YouTube tell me I'm being reported for misinformation, for all this kind of stuff. So Nidhi's sisters already have my number, and they're already going for it. They're trying to dox me and all that kind of stuff too, so that's one of those things. Nidhi can abuse copyright, sa sadly, still, but it rarely holds up here. At least copyright strike won't stop people from criticizing them out of fear of being sued. That's a huge difference. Not really they can attempt to abuse copyright, but there are some catches. U.S. Fair Use, of course, which I do because I, I show only snippets here and there. And when I do show them, I'm pretty much talking for like 5-10 minutes over the darn things. So yeah, these are empty threats over here in the U.S. YouTuber notes to take measures against offenders that repeatedly abuse their copyright system, except for large companies. Uh, seen in previous instances of uh, Nidhi Sandhi attempting to go after Kyo and False, but it doesn't help public opinion. It doesn't help their public opinion. It never will. Uh, no one can slander talents but ourselves. At this rate, it's a good time to make use of Flork, Florko F. Crows meme again. Uh, this one, the Florkos F. Crows. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. The lawyers are telling them, just shut up. Just be quiet. Just don't say things. I get every, doing everything you can protect talents from being bullied to oblivion, but let's face it, there can, there can and will be those who take issues to the extremes out there. I've noticed that myself. Considering how the higher-ups mistreat those they hire, the big fat press X to doubt from me right now. Uh, they're getting the government involved to do that. What's Nidhi Sanji thinking? Nidhi Sanji's thinking they got to get somebody to do something. Uh, any color have been working with various companies. YouTube on anti-defamation. See this any color uh, regarding participation of slander countermeasure study group. Also some source for the quoted tweet from Nidhi Sanji. Uh, translated Japanese peer to YouTube video program to raise awareness of slander defamation. Contents of the video work of fiction that is put together in an entertaining way, but be careful, everyone. And because uh, the YouTube short interface is annoying, same YouTube in, in regular YouTube and Google translation of the video description. Uh, this video is provided to YouTube, created in cooperation with the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communication, Internal University Glocom, and Creator uh, International University Glocom, and Creator Economy Association. Posts on SNS can lead to slander, complicity in slander, even if there's no strong malice. Uh, remember to take a moment to breathe and think before posting. You may be held legally responsible. The story is fiction, so that it's, they're making sure they know it's fiction. And ain't slander harassment if it's true, you clowns. Also, they have to go after themselves first since they harass people and slander people themselves. So yeah, they're going to try their best. And this is the, the, the whole news thing, the video. Uh, everything that we went over um, on the creation of the video with any color uh, cover, which is basically what was mentioned um, up here, was mentioned over here. All this information that I just went over, people are saying here, um, drama tubers, oh look, more content. We eating good tonight. The more this continues, the more solidify the existence of drama tubers instead of others treating them as insects to ignore swat around. Stry sound effect. Yep, you got me talking about it. I'm a small one, but still, I'm here. So the Shri Send effect is in full effect for Unity Sanji. Congratulations. Another Mother the Mother's Day stream was restricted by Unity Sanji, it seems like, uh, because I don't think Scarla would have taken away her own thing. Uh, but being canceled was Scarla just counting her eggs before they hatch. But the whole incident that happened with Hex recently made me wonder the situation was something similar too. Knowing Scarla can be a scatterbrain at times, it's not entirely impossible for her to be in prompt to stream, but I believe she's better than, than this, especially with the recent incident with Hex, and wanted to include his mother for his birthday stream. She also very aware of the red tape, which makes me think this isn't just some whoopsie moment. If anyone's still active, watch her stream. Maybe she provided some extra, uh, you know, context. For Mother's Day, I will be doing Q&A with Ma Mama Gumi. And then terribly sorry everyone, I'm still doing some things with Mama Gumi and we are probably not going to finish until late. Then I'm going to drive her home. I'll see you tomorrow. So it was probably cancelled by Nidhi Sanji. Uh, or she was told she had to pre-record it or something of that sort. You know how it happens with Nidhi Sanji. Unfortunately, we all know how it happens with Nidhi Sanji. She dare, uh, daring management to fire her. Who knows in this case. Uh, Hex was also probably da da daring to get into trouble after using a personal account to promote one of his upcoming streams. Did she ever post waiting room for a streamer prior to the update? No waiting room, so it was just an announcement. In fairness, it might not be an impromptu idea she came up with. It might just be an impromptu idea. And spending time with mom on Mother's Day, but Scarlett was very aware of Nidhi's red tape, so she probably decided to do it off collab. Uh, with a Gunplus stream reviewing today, suddenly drop, it might be possible. Probably because they realized that their contract can't take away human being without getting hit by anti-slavery laws. I don't know about that. If you were to follow publisher contracts, they can't take away your mommy. Didn't uh, at one point Machia say they weren't allowed to be in family anymore? Hex's stream was pre-recorded because they, of course, were forced to. 
Hollow Life were allowed Artanis to bring Hollow Moms on the stream. Needy Sanji, you got 2%. Your mom belonged to us forever. Yeah, they'll take away your mom too. That's just a joke, of course. It's just a joke. Just letting you know. But yes, that's what people are saying. They'll take away your mom too. It's Doki related news. Um, I guess they can't avoid Doki forever. Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. Doki Charity. They're do doing that again, uh, which is good. It's very good. Uh, another one, I guess she's doing another one. The context of this post, Turkey Bird had an announcement she will attend Anime Expo this year. Her manager told her not to give any details because it was a spoiler. Charity VOD streamed two months ago. It was her, it was her planning. Why is it important the fact that NGN will attend in July 6, 2024? Posted on Twitter. It's leading to the discussion. If Doki Bird's date, whether earlier or before or after the same month, their management would hesitate to put an event back do uh, avoiding Doki Bird entirely because they've been avoiding Doki Bird overall. Which is kind of funny because they're the big company, yet they're afraid of one streamer. Because uh, that streamer has really uh, not even doing anything themselves. Like, Doki Bird hasn't done anything directly. But they're scared because do just the mention of Doki Bird, it drops the uh, the stocks for the company overall. I would ask for them to be the same day and hour, but someone's mental health is at play. Better not. So I'd wish for the fly-in management meeting. They'll be go ballistic with this news reaches them. They will actually be physically present at AX. Or are they streaming in from home? I don't think VTubers are ever physically at any event. Most will travel to places that have studios to stream in other events, like basically to, to reduce the lag. What if since AX is confirmed contract-wise for them, they got both and they'll be at, they'll be uh, trying to pull out, withdraw. If Nidhi Sanji pulls out, it will look really bad. Um, and they probably have penalties for pulling out because uh, Anime Expo is a big expo. So they probably have penalties for pulling out. Uh, that's what she said, of course. But um, moving on, to interesting things we are going to talk about more avoidance of doki bird which of course is something that nidhi sanji is going to be enjoying doing uh they're going to try their best to do this but doki bird is going to keep winning as she always has um i don't want to believe it's true but i'm wondering if because the contract nda thing instead or do they just think that they were together she'd be way more attention money than them nidhi's pretty bad pretty petty and avoiding selen doki at all costs unless selling selen merch that's why she was cut out of the AR Live, because they want her to fail. That's the main thing. That's the main thing I want to, I want to reach to you guys. They want her to fail. And uh, they either don't know, or they don't care, that it makes them look ridiculous. Nor that it makes them look even worse for hating her or even being afraid of her. But internally, it's to keep the Kool-Aid refrigerated. Yeah, it's basically to, to keep things separate for the most part. I think it's simple if they participate in the same events. Uh, with Doki, they run the risk of livers publicly interacting with her. This would be bad for them in every way. Livers have shown not to be the best PR and trying to slander her is proven ineffective. So it's best not to mention her. And if the Livers interacted with Doki in a sympathetic way, it would be bad for Niti too, since basically uh, they'll be seen as an admission that they were wrong. So yeah, Canada is loving her. Animathon is going to be uh, showing Doki Bird a VTuber guest, which is great. I'm very happy that that's happening for her. Eventually, Kurosanji won't be able to go anywhere. Another day, another Doki W, which is good. And mods are inactive that someone actually posted Doki Bird art by by that by them, Lace Melodies, and that was most likely removed uh, because it is the weekend, which is dead time for the board's mods. That was 16 hours ago. More than likely, it was removed because we now know that Nidhi Sanji, a subreddit, is in protected mode pretty much. It is, uh, you have to be approved to even post there, which is dumb. It's going to affect them hard. It's going to ruin them, but they don't really care. They care more about the money than that. Not a Sherpa Gooden here. We're talking about um, this uh, specific stream. Nidhi Sandy and Lavers most insane. Hear me out. Wonder how long this will last, but will they disable comments in case things go awry? Th three is the light. Made me think of Pomu. Yeah, I presume the name comes from the fact that it was introduced three years ago. Pomo was the first thing uh, that came that came to mind. What did she think slapping Hear Me Out next to her face was a good idea? Not to mention both of them look absolutely depressed. Well, I guess Threezulite is at least marginally better than th than Etheria. That said, I'm really curious if they're dumb enough to use Etheria for Etheria's anniversary. It just occurred to me July is Obsidian's third anniversary. They're definitely going to work a three into the hashtag somehow, of course. I can't say for certain whether they'll be spiteful about it or pretending to be tone deaf. Three is a light, only two members left. Lol, MAO. I know three is a light because of their third anniversary or something. I'm just joking. Small, I smell bait trying to boost the least popular duo. Word liver hurts my brain because I think of people liver. We did sound you never use that word. At least look into what the word means in English. I know that another gaslight, who knows? Um, but yeah, they're doing the, the three theory thing. Um, and at least this time she did four weeks. I think last time it was like a couple of months that you had to be a subscriber in order for you to actually. Uh, post anything uh on the comments on the live chat but um like i always say do not go and 
they're, they're making dumb moves. Let them hurt themselves. They're hurting themselves in their confusion. There's no reason for anyone to have to actually go and do anything negative to them. So that's my big, you know, little PSA for today. Uh, let's see. It is shortened to four weeks. It probably only hurt itself in the end. I can imagine new viewers would want to stick around when they realized it would take three months for them to be able to chat. Probably one reason why she was still bleeding subs despite coming back to streaming. Still, the people against her are probably fairly rabid, so it might have been required regardless. Yeah, I mean, there are people around that are still fairly rabid. They're still fairly, like, I don't know, going to probably cause issues. So how many Fananas will she get this time? Probably three Fananas. Law, she's trying to overwork the mods to death. You know exactly what raiders are going to try and get them to comment on. Most insane, hear me out. Nisanji, five inks, Nisanji's ENs on screen versus one, three Lazulite. But PR strategy is this. This is bait. Of course, people are saying it's bait. People were subscribed after the black screen, hoping they would eventually pass the long limit in order to badmouth her in chat are, ch are cashing in now. Just to be safe, I'd specifically hear the sarcasm and I do not recommend anyone harass her. More seriously though, actually makes sense that she did that. Been three months since the black screen stream. If not now, then in a week, people might have subscribed at that time would be allowed in her chat. She either have to double down and increase the subscribers only period, or she'd let them in anyways. In which case, she would might as well be shortened the period to something more open, like maybe a week or so. But this isn't going to go well. I can guarantee you this is not going to go well. And um, yeah, it's just not going to go well in general. I don't know why they did this. Next, we have Vispo talking about uh, one of the big companies in Japan. The smaller agencies, but still it's big enough. It's a virtual esports focused talents agencies. They have, you know, uh, Mozumi, Mozumi Pichi, Videre, and, uh, you know, all these other ones, Mochibi Pichi Gallery. Um, they have they have a bunch of people here. They've been they've been doing things since uh, 2018. Um, Kagasumire, Kaganazuna, all these people were in there. And what is happening now is rough English translation. Facebook management identified a person who had posted many articles that were defamatory, slanderous, and infringes on the privacy of their talents. So it's basically, you know, going against Japanese law. Uh, culprit had to delete all of the posts and pay 2 million yen as part of damage compensation. 2.386 million yen. So that's somewhere around twenty to twenty thousand dollars around there. So still, still a lot, like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. A person of Five Chan posted defamatory, and misogynistic slander against a Vispo talent. Vispo management have identified the culprit. Tokyo District Court accepted the claim and ordered disclosure. Vispo management will consider taking appropriate measures in action. What this disclosure means is that they were able to talk. They were able to send a a request, a subpoena for the information for the person from whatever agency or whatever Reddit, whatever it was that where they put the stuff on their 4chan, etc., 5chan, they were able to get the information of the person, track them down for this uh, stuff that they were going to be doing for, for, you know, suing them and everything like that. The court said that, yes, this can be done under Japanese law. And there we go. In addition to the mentioned cases, Vispo management are currently involved in multiple lawsuits and negotiations against slanderous acts which a lot of Japanese companies do, towards Vispo talent on social media and websites. They will continue to carry out similar court procedures and claims for damages. Now, I wanted this to be a translated thing for you guys, so here I have it. Vispo about the response status, the slander, etc. against affiliated talents. Thank you very much for your continued support of Vispo. We would like to report as following the re regarding activities of the Standard Countermeasures Committee, which was established to protect the rights of the team members, talents, and employees of slander, stalking, other such things. It says uh, identification of persons who repeatedly engage in defamatory acts. And they're going over everything. We identified a person who put in, posted many articles of slanderous and infringed on the privacy of our affiliated talents. And we decided to have him or her post about the talents belonging to our group, including Beastful. We reached an agreement which they had to delete in its entirety and had to pay 2,386,490 yen as part of the damages. Identification of the person was made on 5 channel. A 5 channel is like a 4 channel, but in Japan. Um, defame the reputation of talent belonging to Beastful. A post on 5chan included defamatory misogyny slander against the talent belonging to Beastful, which is a female, I guess, in this case. In order to identify the poster, uh, they dis the 5chan disclosed the IP related to the post and filed a lawsuit against the provider to whom his IP address was assigned, requesting disclosure of the sender's information. That was the subpoena that I mentioned before. As a result, Tokyo District Court allowed it to be going through. Uh, they determined the talent's rights were infringed uh, because, you know, the slander laws, the defamation and slander laws in Japan are basically if you affect their business, if you affect their person, if you affect their honor, then you're done. Whether it's true or not, doesn't matter if it's true. It could be 100% true, but you just besmirched their, their whole person, so you have to pay. About other activities in addition to above cases, there are currently multiple lawsuits, negotiations, etc. against posters, side operators, providers, platformers, uh, platforms, etc. regarding slanderous acts against Vispo and SNS, which is like, you know, a, a messaging service. 
We provide with similar court proceedings and claims for damages on all those people. We believe that they were able to achieve the above results thanks to the cooperation of our fans who were concerned about slander. So people reported him to Vispo, like people report to Hololive, like people report to them. And in Japan, they can actually go for it over here in the US. If you do it, like there's there's certain things about like fair use, there's certain things about um, uh, opinion. There's certain things about comedy and parody and things like that that they can't go against. In addition to the activities, the Anti-Defamation Committee will continue to do our best to implement various measures to ensure that everyone can enjoy an attractive place. To all fans to support us, thank you, basically. Thank you for your time and understanding. So that's what Vispo is doing. And um, that's just pretty much what they're going to keep doing as all large organizations in Japan, big or small, if they have the money to get lawyers, they're going to do this. So, of course, you know, don't harass people and people that are harassing, they're getting what they deserve at this point. And the memes keep coming and they don't stop coming. And here we go. Doki training for Tekken 8. Doki might be competing in Tekken 8, but she's not a king main. She's not the king main or she is a king main. Yeah, she's not a king main. This is king right here. They basically changed king into Doki bird, uh, taking off the mask. It is Doki bird, according to this um, source. Is this person here? She clearly, clearly skipped leg day. Look at those legs. Clearly skipped leg day. Uh, buff Doki. Of course, the buff Doki is right there. Uh, this is uh, Dok uh, Riku Tazumi fails the coffee break. Coffee break one fail. He keeps failing it. He failed and he's angry. He's angry because he failed in it. Even more negligible amount of time later. He going, he going, he going. Failed coffee break. Ah. <laughs> this is Doki Bird, I guess, doing it. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that was Doki Bird doing it. Doki Bird did the coffee thing. So, yeah. Riku wasn't happy about that. Laudic is funny. This is fact. Uh, let's try using free paint tool. Let's also go to add the background. Uh, parody of Edward Munch's Scream. Quite a popular meme, too. Now some good shit posting, uh, you know, good, good S posting here with the memes, with the memes, uh, lots of memes. Just see this meme and I can't help remember the Doki one. Why in the world is there a tomato on the train? Because it's Doki. Because the subway. <laughs> Doki bird, yes. Because the subway. <clears throat> That's why there's a tomato on the freaking train. Certified Jakurter moment. Yes. All of these, I love bringing memes to you guys. So That's why I do this. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.